Now, these before and afters of my students here fixing their early extension, every single one of these students did that in a very short space of time. So I will, in this video, get you to fix your early extension. So this is an area that is massively practiced wrong. A lot of you are hugely wasting your time like you know. You've probably been suffering from this problem for an extremely long time. But as soon as you practice and you do the proper things to fix it, you will fix it. Now to fix your early extension, you've got to do two things. You've got to find out why you're early extending. So what is the reason to why early extension is happening? Because I tell you what, early extension does not happen just for the sake of it. It is not a fault on its own. It's actually something that's trying to help you hit the golf ball with faults you're already doing. So you've got to figure out that before you work on the actual early extension. And what's the next step? working on the actual early extension portion. You've got to work on root cause, step one, and then you've got to work on moving properly. A lot of you out there are just trying to work on moving properly, having no idea that there's actually been something that's causing your early extension. A lot of you hit the ball worse when you try to not early extend. So let's get into three reasons, most common reasons to why you early extend, the root cause reasons. So first one that I see on a daily basis, is I don't think a day goes past doing lessons where I don't see this fault and that is the hips moving towards the golf ball in the backswing. So the hips gradually moving closer to the ball. It can be subtle, it can be a lot. This is one you all have to look out for because if your hips start to move forward going up to the top of the backswing, they are gonna to continue to move forward going into the downswing. It's like the point of no return. If you start moving forward, you are not gonna move back again. It's not gonna happen. You, there's a lot of you out there who just cannot fix your own extension, this is why it is. So for a player with that problem, they've got to, of course, fix the reason, which is pelvis moving forward, which is getting deeper with their hip turn in the backswing. So we're gonna use this as our example at the end of the video on like kind of practice structure you can do to be able to work on it with this specific root cause. So hips moving forward, they're gonna move more forward in the downswing. That's the first one we see. Second one. Steep shaft in transition. Now, when that shaft is getting steeper or more vertical in transition and in the downswing, your body again will have to come out of its posture to be able to reshallow the shaft coming into the golf ball. As you can see, as soon as my pelvis moves forward and my upper body moves back, the spine extending, so early extending, you can see what happens to the golf club. The golf club reshallows again. So it will mitigate that extreme steep shaft in order to help you hit the golf ball okay. If you didn't do that and you stayed in posture with a steep shaft, you're just gonna chop right across it really, really steep. Play like that, you have to get more shallow and then you can work on staying in posture. There is an absolute myriad of different reasons to why you could have a steep shaft. I've got plenty of videos on my channel about that, but you have got to find out what reason you're doing and sleeping in the shaft for, fix that, and then you can go from there. So that is the second reason. The third reason that I massively see people have their root cause reasons to early extension, and that is them having zero depth of their arms at the top of the backswing. They might have a backswing where it's very little turn and their arms will just lift straight up. They have no depth creation in their backswing. So more depth means more behind the left arm and the hands in this sense we're talking about. So when the arms go dead straight out, or dead straight up, sorry, the club will get out in front of you. And then from there, you're gonna to have to early extend to get the club back on path. No depth, club will get out in front in the downswing. So over the top, you can say, out of your posture, early extend to get the club back on path to help you hit the ball well. That'll be a player who would have to get themselves deeper at the top of the backswing. Their lead arm will have to be more across their shoulder plane. Their hands will have to be a little bit more around their heel region at the top. That is normally created by better turn in that backswing. Turn creates the depth. So that's how a player would they'd have to do first and foremost. So then they can work on staying in posture. Always a reason why. There are plenty more reasons, but you have got to figure out why it is there. One of these will most likely be your reason. So the second step now, and this is the one that you're all doing already, and that is working on the actual visual part of early extension and getting rid of it. So the movement in the downswing. So like I said, we're working and we're gonna use this example of the first one. So the first root cause reason that I gave, which was pelvis moving forward. So how are we gonna work on? Okay, working on the root cause. 
So we want the pelvis to go more back, but we also want to work on the pelvis going more back in the downswing as well. If the first problem, lack of hip depth is what we're working on. This drill. So, okay. So remember, whatever your root cause reason is, find a drill for that to fix that and work on the early extension movement and get in better posture alongside that. So that's where the first one, this is it. So get a chair, put the chair up to your hamstrings here. Now, what I want you to do is push the chair back in the backswing and then in the downswing, push it back with your left hip. So right hip in the backswing, left hip in the downswing. So this is a very basic way of working it, but for this root cause issue, this is brilliant. And I absolutely firmly believe pretty much most of you watching this video will have your pelvis go forward a little bit in the backswing. So this will be a great one for pretty much all of you to do here. So really push it back, really push it back again. So if we are, let's say, really having a flare up of this movement, we will come away from the chair in the backswing and we'll continue to be there in the downswing. So there we go, push it back with the right hip, push it back with the left hip. There we go. So be a brilliant one for you to practice and then you've got to get in the reps. So this is the part of it where time. You have just got to put in a lot and a lot and a lot of time. So with my students that we saw at the very beginning of the video, one thing they all did was put in a lot of time doing the drills in their practice session. So when we're talking about putting in a lot of time when you practice, it's time doing what you need to do. So working on your root cause, working on the effect. A lot of you, when you practice, you will do a sprinkling of this and then you'll do 75% just mindlessly whack, 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 hitting balls. It's why you get worse, because you're not really working on things properly. So with one of these students here, Dave, that I've made a video about before, fixing his early extension, he fixed it in a month because his practice routine was so intense on the amount he was doing in his session with exaggerated swings, practice swings, drill shots. He didn't even hit normal walls, so normal swing shots. And he fixed it in a month. A lot of you have been working on your early extension for years and got nowhere, probably a little bit worse with it. So that's why when I want you to practice every single ball doing that, doing the drill, every single one. Because I know one thing, when you go up and down a driving range looking at people practice, they're terrible at practicing. They're just hitting balls. You're gonna get worse. So that's why you have to really, every single rep, and if you are doing some reps without a training aid or something or a drill helping you, exaggerate the most you can. So like, if this is my problem, I really want that right hip going back and then left going back. Really exaggerate it, maybe even slower speed just so I can make sure I can get those movements, those feelings in there. Don't waste your time. You can't be wasting your time. So. This will fix your early extension. You have to find out why you're doing it and you have to work on the effect after you've been working on the why as well. So definitely a two pronged way of attacking it that you have to do, but it's the most successful way. Every single student that comes in with early extension to me on skills, we fix them every single time because it's very straightforward of a process. So whether you need help with that, of course, there's a link in the description for my online coaching. We can get to work on that if you need some help. But other than that, there are the tools here in this lesson and in my channel to help you with working on your early extension. So if you enjoyed the video, click the like button. If you want more golf instruction just like this, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button too to be notified every time I put out a video.